Jay Grazio from Shooting Illustrated here with another entry in our iCarry series, bringing you firearms and gear devoted to home and personal defense. Today we have a Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 380 in a Blue Force Gear Ultra Comp Pocket Holster. We also have a high threat concealment, low pro belt, a CRKT fulcrum folding knife, and a Surefire Sidekick flashlight. Let's take a closer look at this gear. First off, we'll unload and show clear. In the beginning, you could get any small 380 ACP pistol you wanted, as long as it was a Walther PPK or some variant thereof. In the 2000s, though, we saw a veritable explosion in the Micro 380 department that started with the Keltec P3AT and saw pretty much every major firearm manufacturer come up with a pocket size 380. Smith & Wesson's entry was the Bodyguard 380, originally released in 2011, and it was upgraded to become part of the M&P family in 2014, at which time the integral laser was changed to a Crimson Trace design. Weighing in at 12.3 ounces unloaded, the Bodyguard 380 has an overall length of 5.3 inches and a 2.75 inch barrel. Capacity is 6 plus 1 rounds and the pistol is double action only, hammer fired with second strike capability. The laser is activated via a push button on the side of the polymer frame and can be adjusted without disassembling the pistol. I find the Bodyguard 380 fits nicely in a pocket holster and it's small and light enough to carry in the back pocket of a pair of jeans as a backup gun. The front and rear sights, usually vestigial little nubs on guns that small, are actually real useful sights. There are glare reducing serrations that help keep reflected light to a minimum, and the sights are tall enough to give a moderately decent sight picture without hanging up on the draw. The trigger is, well, there's no getting around it, long and heavy, but that's to be expected from a little gun you keep in your pocket. Numerous variants are currently available, including different frame colors, models with and without thumb safeties, and even models without integral lasers. There's even a model with an engraved slide for those who prefer their pocket pistols shiny. When you're carrying in a pocket, there's two things the holster absolutely must do. Keep items out of the trigger guard and remain in the pocket on the draw. There's nothing worse than launching your holster across the room. The Ultra Comp accomplishes the first objective by covering the trigger guard completely and the second by means of a sticky rubberized fabric that grips the inside of the pocket and won't let go. There's also a wing designed to catch the edge of your pocket. The Ultra Comp is light, thin and completely ambidextrous. High threat concealment, low pro belt. Again, a tactical belt isn't necessary for a gun carried in a pocket holster. It's likely you'd be carrying something like the Bodyguard 380 as a backup to full size gear. If you're training or on super secret squirrel business, you'll appreciate a discreet belt that can hold all your gear. High threat concealment's low pro belt is designed to work with the company's low profile system outer belt and holster magazine carriers, which have hook and loop attachment points along the sides and back. Front of the belt, however, looks like a standard dress belt. So if you're concealing under a sport coat or a jacket, it blends right in. In keeping with the small pistol, Surefire's Sidekick flashlight offers plentiful illumination in a two and a half inch long package that weighs two ounces. It has three settings that offer a range of illumination from five lumens all the way up to 300. The Sidekick will fit on a keychain and light up most of the parking lot. The internal lithium ion battery is rechargeable via a standard micro USB plug meaning you can leave it charging at your computer so it's always fully charged when the sun goes down. It's even available in colors other than black. Want to have some fun? Hand the CRKT Fulcrum 2 to a friend and ask them to open it. If they're not familiar with the unique opening system, you'll have to show them how to press carefully on one edge to pop the blade out, then grasp the knife normally to open it fully. It's one of the more interesting ways we've seen to open a blade. The plain edge drop point blade measures 3.18 inches and the Fulcrum 2 is 7.56 inches long and weighs 4.7 ounces. The scales are glass filled nylon and the blade has a titanium nitride finish. When dropping below a major caliber for self-defense, your ammunition choice becomes of utmost importance. Of course, it's important in major calibers too. Hornady's critical defense line is specifically designed with fast burning, low flash propellants to launch projectiles quickly and ensure proper expansion even out of shorter barrels. The FTX bullet is designed to resist clogging against soft barriers and expand reliably. Scroll down for links for more information about this gear, as well as to find many other everyday carry combinations on shootingillustrated.com. And, of course, if you're carrying a concealed firearm, you really should consider the NRA's carry guard insurance. And as always, stay tuned for more gear on iCarry.